Hey, what's up guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron. Today we are going to look a little bit closer at this beautiful 2019 KTM 300 XC. So stick around. This is the latest and greatest from KTM. This is 2019 model KTM 300 XC. And yes, this is not a TPI bike. This is an old school carburetor. It's a technology that's been here for some time and you know, there is nothing that can go wrong with these bikes. You know, if you look at it, uh, living in California, really there is, a, there is not really a reason to get a TPI bike because uh, anyway, you are not going to get it uh, green stickered in California. It's exactly the same bike as your carbureted bike and uh, it's just a uh, very young technology and you know, uh, if you stick with the carb, and especially this one is electron carburetor, which uh, pretty much works uh, very similar than uh, your TPI, because it's self-adjusts to elevation, very smooth and uh, <clears throat> you know crisp throttle response, and also it's pretty good uh, fuel economy. So there is no need uh, to go for TPI as of today. That's my opinion, and also there is a lot of uh, more knowledgeable guys from the industry that share the same opinion. So this is a 2019 bike that is. Uh, built for dirt and iron for a little test we're gonna do something really cool you know i'm gonna take this one which is 2019 bike and i'm gonna take my 2004 these both bikes are 300 cc right and it's a 15 years difference and i want to see how much it changed in 15 years and you know for the 2004 i did quite a lot of uh, mods and you know fixing it building engine a little bit better than it was before so Let's see if it's something that we can compare, if it's like apples to apples, maybe old apples to a new apples or you know something like that. So it will be a really fun video and this will be coming maybe in a week or so. But for today I just wanted to talk about this bike and uh, look at all the details and everything that has been done to this bike. This is not a brand new bike, this bike has around uh, 30 hours on. So uh, this is uh, Jay Clark uh, personal bike, he took it completely apart and went through everything again. So engine has a vertex piston and all the components vertex. Then the head was done by TMR. It was cut and also the dome was reshaped, I think. And uh, it has a electron carburetor, which uh, works really great for trail riding. You're, you don't really need to worry about it. Just plug it in and you're good to go on different elevations as well. And also it has a V-Force 4 reeds. Just complete package together, the engine runs really sweet, it's very responsive and, and super strong. We went a little bit bigger on the rear for a sprocket, super sprock, uh, 51 in the rear and 14 in the front, you know, to give a little bit of extra power from the bottom. Suspension was done by Racetech, dialed for 190 pounds, which is also my weight, so it should be working really well on the trails. Complete wheel set from Task, also with the brake rotors in the front. There is an oversized rotor, so it's a little extra stopping power. And you know, these Brembo brakes, they just work amazing. So we got a Petri carbon on the pipe, we got Petri carbon on the skid plate, we got TM Design work for a shark fin for the caliper protector and also for the chain guide is a complete set from TM Design Work is nice orange color. FMF Racing did gnarly pipe and a power core 2 silencer. UFO or UFO, I don't really know how you call it. <laughs> they, they did a full plastic kit on this bike. It's all orange color. Plus it's all orange uh, airbags as well, which you can get from, uh, from KTM Power Parts. It looks really neat. I'm gonna show it to you under the seat. It really looks nice. Also, uh, KTM Power Parts, uh, frame protector, nice orange color. Works Connection did all the black anodized pieces. We are running Dunlop tire. The rear is AD81, which is uh, that uh, gummy EX tire. And in the front is AD81, the regular tire. Scar titanium foot pegs, which are really light and looks pretty cool too. Hints on clutch components, complete clutch and uh, outer cover as well. Uh, ICW did the radiators, just put the braces on it, make them a little bit stronger. Trailtech radiator fan, you know, to cool down this bike, it comes on at a certain temperature. Linkage protector from Fastway, is something that you really want to have if you are a little bit more aggressive trail rider. Custom graphics from uh, Decal MX and the uh, seat cover from MotoSeat, I think it's really nice package, it came out really nicely. I dig that orange, black and green color and the Dirt and Iron doesn't look bad too. There is a lot of bells and whistles on this bike. I'm gonna put a complete list below in the description so you guys can go through everything. There is a lot of companies on this bike. You know, you can check everything, get a little inspiration. If you are riding KTM or any other bikes, uh, you can see what was done to this bike. You know, there are some parts that are a must, some that are, uh, you know, good to have and some that are, you know, just a little luxury. But anyway, you can get a little inspiration there. 
and uh, see what you can use for your bike. It's uh, really necessary that you put a good protection on the trail bike if you are going to abuse it like we usually do uh, when we ride these bikes. All right, guys, well, I'm really excited to ride it and to compare it to my 2004 because, uh, as I said in the beginning, it's essentially the same bike, just a 15 years difference. So let's see how far KTM got in 15 years. I think pretty far, but anyway, it will be fun. It will be fun to compare it. And uh, at the end, uh, hopefully we'll have some good results. All right, guys, that's about it for today. And don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.